oh bud buddy um <clears throat> i'm kind of i'm kind of suspecting without being up on your uh your country's economics now i'm kind of suspecting you might you and your 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 king there and and the way he invests all your people's uh resources <clears throat> wisely and sustainably for their future and well-being in the world and it's always a good idea to diversify investments because I mean disaster happens you know it can happen to one half of the world and spare sort of the other half to pick up the burden and recover which is obviously why number one on my bucket list is banning the dairy gap on the Pan American Highway so you can drive from the north of North America which would be you know Dempster Highway Alaska Highway all the way down to the tip of South America dogs agree um <clears throat> no it might be above your your pervy to uh, tail to build a proper land corridor some sort of a toll road on the hundred kilometers of swamp <clears throat> and there's all these concerns and environmental stumbles whereas an offshore bridge much like joins the keys might very well be feasible uh, and if that's still out of the purview because I'm sure we're talking we're talking you know a hundred billion minimum perhaps up to a trillion to to make it something that'll last forever with you know reasonable maintenance and withstand all kinds of earth movements and tsunamis as you get in the Caribbean as well as on the Pacific side and be salvageable and re restorable um, moving people from one end of the earth to the other right that's what survival is all about <clears throat> and toll roads you know that's the last the last thing to generate income to close down no matter what's done and tricked up in an economy is the mode of movement I mean caravan trails all days right isn't is now what sustained you guys <clears throat> when the fish weren't enough. Hmm. So I'm sure as you know, I'll attach the link there. I've been um, trying to drum up support and win the Lotto BC 50 million so I could uh, restart a ferry service using um, surplus old but top fucking rated uh, safety wise Canadian ferries to start restoring a economical resemblance of a ferry service there and um, I think I've got a pretty good platform to build on a uh, economical security measures to uh, deal with the people like the George Bushes that want to you know <clears throat> keep everything destabilized down there which is in nobody's interest including the parasites that are making that happen with their ill-gotten gains so, uh, give me an indication if you might be interested and I'll see what I can put together. Um, because I mean, hey, you already been across the equator. <laughs> you and packing icebergs. <laughs> right, buddy. Um, you know the trip, eh? I don't know if I'll ever make her out there, but peace out. Um, live long. <sighs> My hands are cold. I'm prosper. Though it's pretty good down here in the Okanagan. Really, the objective is a a land mode for that hundred kilometers. Some sort of anchored floating bridge. If it's too much of an ecologically sensitive zone, and swamp, you gotta. 
yeah, at least up here in the north, you gotta dig right down to fucking something that's not organic. Sand layer or mineral layer. And in that kind of swamp and liquidification from earth movements and stuff, I think probably uh, the cheapest way is gonna make a structure is gonna be floats. Floating bridge, like what they did across Kelowna, perhaps. Only a ocean worthy version. And um, well, your people already have a pretty good idea how to manage appropriately skilled workers in those kind of uh, major megastructure undertakings. That's quite evident. <coughs> so, um, like I say, I have got no idea because I've been way too overbooked to know what, you know, are you guys even in a position to be looking for potential mega structure investments. Uh, it's clear that the Chinese are hopeless. They're, you know, the global Zionists have gutted them as, as was planned and, you know, they'll end up in a, another, well, like Ukraine today, right? <sighs> February the uh, 22nd, um, I guess we're at about Eighteen forty-five. Peace out, my friend. <coughs> Just um, tell them El Skinny sent you. <laughs> ah, the one-eyed Jack. <laughs> not a not not a pillar of salt. I still got to get a little bit back out of me again, but you know. <laughs> Alright my friend, much love. <clears throat> Somebody's gotta be the example in the Middle East out of this this terminally competitive nonsense. Cause Ragnarok is coming as I've been telling y'all, and now you're starting to know it.